Well, new at 10, a shooting in downtown Little Rock at around 2 a.m. this morning, catching a family in a crossfire of bullets. Yeah, the family said to have been riding scooters together when the shots began. One of those riders who was shot was also a minor. Madison Gaffner joins us live now from the Little Rock Police Department. After talking with that victim's family, Madison, this was meant to be a family night, but I would imagine today is a hard day for him. That's right, Gary and Samantha. Cameron Bland shared that she was still wearing the same clothes that she had on last night as they went out to celebrate a birthday, riding scooters and enjoying some family fun time until her little sister became the next gun violence victim. What could be just us going to have a good time turned into my sister being admitted into the hospital. An evening of birthday celebrations turned into a night and early morning they'll never forget. Just having to sit there and hear my sister scream for help. As shots fired and Cameron Bland's 17 year old sister Amaya Phillips was hit at the corner of East Markham and South Scott Streets in downtown Little Rock. My sister was hit immediately and she just fell limp. Around 2.30 in the morning is when celebrations for Amaya and a friend ended, but also when the 911 call rang in. We were ready to leave and before that could even happen in a split second, uh, there were minors that were shooting at each other. Lynn says she heard what felt like 60 to 70 shots fired, her vehicle taking 10 shots down the side. A bullet still laying on the ground this afternoon. Had we been in the vehicle, someone would have been shot in the head because there is a bullet that went through my headrest. Thankful that wasn't the case, but wishes she could have taken the bullet for her sister, Amaya. Amaya just graduated high school with straight A's and ambitions for the Air Force. Bland praying over and over until the ambulance arrived. I know that God will get us through this. Amaya has since been released from the hospital and is now at home resting. The Little Rock Police Department have shared that there has not been any arrest made in connection with the shooting that happened earlier this morning. And as always, please reach out to them if you have any information about that shooting. I'm Madison Gaffner reporting live here in Little Rock with Kara K4 News. Now back to you, Gary and Samantha.